Hello, this is Kevin Tate from Regato, and here's a little bit about the Cascade Edge as a Service IoT infrastructure. Here at Regato, our focus is on providing edge connectivity and computing to help companies develop and deploy very large scale commercial IoT solutions. And ultimately, companies work with Regato to reduce the complexity, cost, and risk of those large scale IoT solutions. We've been at this a while. Uh, Regato actually started back in 2010, focused around Bluetooth low energy solutions. And what we saw was that as BLE and other low power wireless technologies were making their way into commercial IoT applications, things like asset tracking, sensing and monitoring, and smart buildings, there was a, a distinct infrastructure required to support the device connectivity and edge computing for those applications in those environments. And so a few years ago, we started building what today is our cascade infrastructure to support those types of applications in commercial IoT environments. So what is Regato Cascade? Cascade is an edge as a service offering for commercial IoT applications. And it includes a few different components. First, our actual gateways. So we offer an IoT gateway that's been particularly designed for low power wireless connectivity, running edge applications, and integrating with cloud services. Um, and then Cascade also includes a set of cloud-based tools that our customers use to deploy their edge applications at scale, to monitor all the gateways they have in the field, making sure that they're performing well and scaling, and it includes an end-to-end -end approach to edge security. So when you put all that together, the physical gateways, the cloud-based management tools, and then our customers adding their own IoT applications to run at the edge, that makes up the Cascade Edge as a Service offering. So what do customers do with it? Well, typically Cascade customers are IoT product or project teams that are using Cascade as the infrastructure on which to deploy their IoT application. So that might be something like asset tracking. Uh, a customer of ours, Radius Networks, provides table delivery service and quick serve restaurants, and it's Regato gateways uh, mounted on the ceiling that track the Bluetooth beacons as they move through the restaurant and tell the servers where to deliver the food. It might also be smart buildings. Um, a number of Regato customers, including CBRE, use Regato gateways to uh, talk to sensors that are tracking room occupancy, uh, gathering environmental data about temperature and building controls, or integrating with smart lighting. And so another uh, important use for connectivity and computing at the edge. Uh, or it might be more generically sensing and monitoring, uh, like say temperature. Uh, one of our customers Onset uh, has a cold chain application for making sure that vaccines are kept in the acceptable temperature range. And it's Regato gateways that ride along with those Bluetooth temperature sensors and send real time information up to the cloud about the, the temperature ranges on the vaccines themselves. So what role does Cascade play in uh, an IoT infrastructure or IoT applications like those? Well, it boils down to uh, first, connecting two devices. So we have a wide range of low power wireless options on the gateways, uh, Bluetooth, including Bluetooth 5, BLE, uh, 802.15.4, including Zigbee and Thread, uh, Wi-Fi, and we support a number of proprietary mesh options. Um, we also have APIs to make it easier to connect to standard beacon protocols uh, like Eddystone or iBeacon. Um, and then this allows us to easily connect to lots of different devices, typically either to gather location information for asset tracking uh, or gathering sensor data directly from a, a connected device. Once devices are connected, uh, these gateways are running uh, applications at the edge. So edge applications really can be uh, can be written in anything, but oftentimes we're seeing them in Node.js, Python, or straight in compiled C++. Uh, 
In the case of Cascade, all these applications are running in secure containers on Ubuntu Core. Um, and typically our customers have built these to gather data or provide local control for devices, right? Turning things on or off, uh, sending commands to, uh, to existing networks. And finally, integrate with the cloud. Uh, so uh, our gateways are typically connected to the internet through Wi-Fi, through uh, power over Ethernet, or through cellular LTE. Um, and they're using TCP IP to send data up to the cloud and, and receive instructions from a cloud service. So usually that's MQTT, uh, could be HTTPS, or really any custom protocol used for the cloud provider. Um, but, but maintaining that secure link from end devices through the edge processing gateway and up to the cloud is obviously a key part of the of the Cascade Edge infrastructure. But keeping those gateways secure and um, and safe at scale is is another important part of Cascade. So we offer a set of cloud-based tools to monitor those gateways. Uh, checking things like uh, CPU and disk and connectivity status. Uh, we have a set of tools that makes it easy to deploy applications. Uh, and those can be different versions of applications or different configurations to gateways that are placed all over the world. And in a lot of cases, companies will integrate the deployment tools with their existing DevOps tools. So really designed so that an application development team can extend those development efforts directly onto that edge infrastructure uh, and seamlessly deploy that to gateways in the field. And then finally, uh, Regato makes available ongoing security patches uh, as new vulnerabilities or exploits are discovered uh, related to the operating system or related to you know, certain key connectivity libraries like Bluetooth, we're able to make those patches available for our customers to then deploy to their gateways to keep them secure in the field. So to give you an example of how a production Cascade solution would work, uh, for customers who have uh, deployed Cascade, we're creating gateways for them that have their secure ID and encrypted key baked in, so they are ready to install. Typically, those are shipped directly to the, to the point of installation, uh, and once those plug in, uh, they're getting all of their configuration and uh, gateway-specific application information from Edge Direct, which is our, which is our back-end system. Um, so that that gateway uh, can be securely provisioned and put to work in its new location. And then those Edge Direct tools form a, a management console that our customer operations team and our customer's engineering team use to monitor and keep those uh, gateways updated. Uh, our support team uses that same interface to help uh, monitor and support those gateways and help our help our uh, customers uh, with their scaling needs as they deploy more and more into the field. So some of the reasons that our customers tell us uh, they like Cascade, uh, speed to market is a big one. So helping them with a production ready solution that they can uh, go straight, straight to large scale deployment. Uh, security is a big, big benefit. Uh, so the fact that we're able to keep those gateways secure from the point of manufacture through deployment and then with ongoing patches in the field um, is, an, is an important point for our customers. Uh, scalability, so having built this for tens and even hundreds of thousands of gateways deployed across locations around the world uh, is, a, is a significant orchestration effort that we've been designed to, uh, to facilitate. And ultimately, there's, there's a lot of cost savings from a total cost of ownership perspective. Um, some of that comes from the fact that we offer Cascades uh, on a subscription basis. So there's a monthly subscription uh, that uh, removes the need for upfront infrastructure costs, taking the whole um, uh, OPEX expense and, uh, and moving it to something that is more aligned with our customers' uh, subscription models. So a little bit more detail about certain aspects of Cascade. Um, first, the gateway itself. Um, here are the tech specs on the gateway. Uh, it's an ARM Cortex A7 processor with a half a gig of RAM. Uh, you can see a wide range of, of connectivity options. It's, wor it's worth mentioning here that the Bluetooth is provided by the Nordic NRF52 
840, to which we've added a power amplifier and an LNA. So we really get um, excellent range and performance out of a full Bluetooth 5 stack. Uh, we also have uh, Wi-Fi on there for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Um, power over Ethernet is a popular option for connectivity. Uh, and the fact that we're able to keep the file system um, and the OS encrypted um, allows us to provide extra security at the edge. Uh, in terms of options, we do offer LTE as uh, optional connectivity. We have both a US version based on Verizon and a worldwide version. Both of those are Cat1 LTE. We do offer custom logo and branding uh, if uh, companies uh, would like to put their logo and color on the gateway, as well as a variety of outdoor and weatherproof enclosures uh, for harsher environments. A little bit about the Edge Connect platform itself. So this is the set of uh, applications uh, running on the, on the gateways. Uh, ultimately, we're providing a gateway that has all of the um, libraries for connectivity and hardware support, along with the uh, security features and secure keys and so on. Uh, on top of that is the Ubuntu Core operating system which offers a, a secure containerized environment. Uh, our uh, snaps that are running in that canonical environment uh, cover things like um, common APIs for connecting to edge devices, uh, the performance monitoring tools, uh, cloud integration agents to, uh, to speed integration with our, with our cloud partners, and then customer applications run on top of those. Uh, in secure containers, and we can uh, we can support multiple containers and applications on a single gateway. So you might use one Cascade gateway or one set of Cascade gateways to run both a smart lighting application and an asset tracking application uh, all in the same environment. This is a look at the Edge Direct monitoring and orchestration tools. These are the tools that live in the cloud and that customers use to monitor the performance of gateways and push out updates to their applications. Uh, it's also the interface uh, they can use to set alerts uh, if they want to be notified of certain events uh, and to work with our team to manage the scaling of their, of their gateway infrastructure over time. Talked about security before. Here's kind of how that plays out over the uh, the lifetime of a gateway pushing to deployment. So uh, when the gateway is first made, uh, it's when we can give it a secure ID, an encrypted key uh, that is unique to that customer, so that as that gateway goes into the field, uh, it can verify that all the applications loaded or updates it receives are specifically for that gateway and for that customer and are received only from our Edge Direct system. Uh, it also allows us, allows us to digitally sign those applications so that at runtime we're able to make sure that the application that is running in a secure snap is the one that's supposed to be running. And as you know uh, about Ubuntu core containers have a lot of security in their slots and tabs architecture that allows a snap to only speak to other snaps um, that it has the authority to uh, the authority to work with. So there's a lot of built-in security with the Ubuntu core OS that we leverage uh, in our containerized approach. And then it's important to note that uh, there, are, um, there are always new vulnerabilities and exploits um, that come out once gateways are in the field. And so we can help companies stay on top of that by pushing security patches that we and our partners uh, at Canonical create to uh, address common vulnerabilities and exploits uh, as new risks emerge. A little bit about pricing. Uh, we offer Cascade on a subscription basis. Um, typically, uh, that's about $100 a year per gateway, which includes both the gateway hardware and the subscription to the cloud-based performance management and monitoring tools. So for a, uh, a three-year contract, uh, $100 a year would be about $300. Uh, for the total cost of ownership over a three-year term. Uh, and that can vary a bit with volume. Um, it can also vary as we add on uh, things like waterproof enclosures or LTE capabilities. But as a rule of thumb, it's about $100 a year per gateway.